This video is brought to you by the Rwanda Travel Guide, a PDF I created to help you travel and tour Rwanda without spending so much on a local tour company. If you plan on visiting Rwanda, the download link is at the description section of this video. This is the most luxurious resort and destination I have ever been in my entire life. We are currently at one and only uh, Gorilla's Nest, right? They actually have two outlets right here in Rwanda. You have the Gorilla's Nest, which I'm in right now, and then you have in Yungui. So what I want to do in this video is kind of like tour the experience for you guys, right? If you love watching destination videos, then you're going to love this one, right? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. If you're new here, we make videos about travel and real estate. Let's proceed with this video. First and foremost, thank you for coming to One and Only Gorillas. Thank Nest. you for having me here. We do have two properties in Rwanda, one in Nyungwe, Western Province. Yeah. That is One and Only Nyungwe House. And yeah. then we also have this one here, One and Only Gorillas Nest. Yeah. It's about 35 hectares with only wow. 21 rooms. Literally, it's us in the eucalyptus forest. We have over 1,200 trees here and wow. they're much much older than the property wow um we do have a concept for the trees it's like a tree house floating with vegetation yeah everything is spread out so pretty much that's the concept so i personally have been hearing about one and only since i started making destination videos so i was like if i ever visit rwanda because i heard you guys also have uh, other outlets here in africa yes, like in cape town and the rest yeah. so i would like you to give me a tour and uh i hope it's going to be interesting because i i'm very curious to see what's hidden in the bush you know <laughs> absolutely so let me just tell you a little bit about the property so this is pretty much our reception yeah. we welcome guests here but also when it's early morning in the morning and guys are going they to come trek, here to prepare they for come it. here to prepare for trekking the resort does have other buildings here we have the nest which you will see later on that's the main restaurant okay but we also have a wellness section called club one and then we have a nice cottage with a lot of history called the Jakana Cottage. Okay, hope we'll be able to see everything. Absolutely. So the concept is to dine you in different areas just so you can enjoy every part of the resort as much as possible. Possible, okay. We do a different uh, menu every day, different venue every day for you just so you have a different experience. experience. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so I guess we should proceed on with the video. Absolutely, let me take you through. Okay. Okay, so this is my temptation corner. We have a lot of options for you. Milk tarts, vegan gluten-free peanut butter cookies, yeah. Turkish delight, something for each and every one. This, is a, this era is not for me, you know? Uh, please indulge, because we <laughs> always want our guests to feel like they're on holiday. And yeah. we think about the situations of gaining weight later, but also the altitude is high. I always joke and say, you can't really gain much with this altitude. You think so, so right? Please indulge. Um, this is for all our guests that come in here, just so they can feel at home. So this is the mode of transportation here, right? Yeah, so it's quite <laughs> large. We do like to take guests on a buggy, a golf cart. Yeah. And like I said, sometimes it will rain. So just to cater for that, we will have this just so you're Nice and dry, but you're more than welcome to walk on the property. <laughs> so, no, I think because it's slightly drizzling, so I think it's a... Uh, let's, let's use this. <laughs> right. So, this Come is right the to. nest. Okay. You're most welcome. Yeah, why do you call it the nest? It's uh, pretty much the hub of the resort. It's the biggest restaurant. It has different sections. Oh. So, it does have the nest bar. It has the nest restaurant the nest deck and the nest library. Okay. So really quickly, I want to introduce you to my friend, Guhonda. Guhonda. So this is a, a sculpture made after the oldest gorilla to 
to be recorded uh called gohonda who is above 51 years now what? he did leave his family so we don't know if he's alive or dead but we like to you can't find alive. him anymore yes he just moved away so we like to remember him with this wow. um his sculpture it's my favorite part of the resort if you <laughs> ask me this here is our bespoke louis vuitton one of a kind bag do i can i ask how much it is um, it's 1,800 US dollars. You can just add only to that. Only? Yeah. It's one and only. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Nice to see you, Richard. Nice to meet you. This is a gin bar. It's not limited to gin, but that's the concept we're going for. So that's why we have, you, you see so many gins displayed here. Yeah. As you can see, we have so many brands, but uh, most especially these. The reason that it's special, it's because we infuse it with what we have in the chef's garden. So. Mm. All the herbs that we use, all the fruits that we use, they're from our garden. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I am part of the restaurant management team okay. of the one and only Gorilla's Nest. Okay. This is such a great pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Man. Uh, where you're standing right now <laughs> is called Nest Restaurant. This is the main restaurant we yeah. have here. Generally here, it's for breakfast. Breakfast. But lunch takes place and dinner. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So all different types of meals take place here, but most of the time, it is breakfast. Breakfast, right? And when we have big groups. Of course, it is here. It happens for lunch. here as well. And I see you have a lovely outdoor space that overlooks the, the forest. Yeah, definitely. That is our uh, nest deck. It's very nice. Oh, wow. This is uh, really yes. beautiful. It's a deck. very nice place to have your different meals breakfast, lunch, sometimes dinner. But during breakfast or lunch, that's the perfect moment to sit here because you have a chance to see the beautiful view of the trees and there is fresh air. We have also a okay, library. Let's, okay, let's take a look at it. Yeah. Why is it called the library? Well, as you can see, the books, the books, it's a, it's a real library. Uh, initially, it was meant to remain really library, but it has been turned into one of our venues for dining. The intention for bringing guests here, of course, is not for them to eat while reading books. <laughs> no, it's just uh, to have a different experience uh, in a different environment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, as you can see, the artifacts and the entire deco is more of African yeah. uh, origin. Thank you so much for giving me a tour of your space. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. That has been a pleasure on All our right. side. All right, so where are we heading to now? So we're going to the Jakana Cottage. Jakana Cottage. It's one of the oldest buildings of this establishment, long before one and only was here. Uh, we decided to maintain the cottage because it has a lot of history, history. a lot of character. Yeah. And it was the home of Jakana. Jakana did do a lot of conservation work here with the gorillas in the park. So as homage to him, just we left maintained it, yeah. the cottage. It is a dining option. It's now more of a games room whiskey and cigar lounge as well as a nice cute little library but yeah it is quite cozy mm -hmm. has a lot of character like i said and it's yeah. a dining option for the guests and it's open to all our in-house guests here okay so just as we come in um obviously we have a lot of pictures of jack hannah and the work he did so let me take you to the kitchen oh it's a it's traditional like a kitchen <laughs> exactly so that's pretty much the concept this is his table his chairs wow. we maintain that and we have this set up and we just want to like i said maintain the character of jack Hanna. and then of course the kitchen it's pretty much the only part of the property here that we touched a little bit zhuzhed it up but it remains the same yeah. so when we have cooking classes another complimentary activity we offer guests cooking classes happen here yeah in the jack Hanna cottage and it does give it a very homey vibe so Really That's nice. pretty much it. So much history going on here. A lot of history. <laughs> this is the library. We've had uh, very many people come here and they want to take a quick uh, call. So we set yeah. up for you really quickly here. The TV here? Not yes. as much. Okay. <laughs> and make sure that you are comfortable. Yeah. And you're able to have a conference call in the library. But if you want a much more private call, we have another private room here with another TV of its own. So this is the games room. Okay. Have you ever seen a traditional Monopoly? No, my very game. first time. I'm so like, wow. The traditional Monopoly game. Wow. We have the foosball, we have that, and of course, pool. 
terrace. This is our terrace. It's a wraparound terrace around the home uh, of Jack Hanna Cottage. Um, and really, this is a dining option. We do have dining venues here at night, most especially. Yeah. And that's another fireplace. We have fireplaces literally everywhere. Yeah. So we'll set everywhere. up a fireplace there. After dinner, you can sit there and just enjoy a drink and, you know, enjoy the stars and just enjoy the sounds of nature. When mm. guests are here, they can be able to enjoy the view. We have our helipad just down there. We have mm. our coffee farm as well. So there are no rooms here, right? Just No uh, rooms, um, just a very nice experience in every room you go to. Mm. So um, I'm just going to take you through the Ingaji, Ingaji suite. suite. Okay. This is one of our super suites. It's the second highest standard of room we have here. here. Okay. And I'll just take you through. All right, ladies first. <laughs> Wow, nice walkway down yes. here. Yes, so for the super suites, it's kind of a, a grand entrance of sorts. Let's go in. Okay. Welcome, guys, to Ngaji. Wow, lovely. This is uh, breathtaking, guys. So this is the Ngaji suite. It has one bedroom, but of course, plenty of space, lounge area. It has the dining section. It has a nice bar. And we also have a kitchen in case they want to have a chef come cook for them privately oh, okay. and they don't want to dine maybe in one of our restaurants we yeah. have that and then it also has another butler's room in case the guests come with maybe a security detail or someone on hand who has to be with them okay, all the always. time okay yeah so let me just quickly take you through That's the dining area of course we always have games so every room has different standards so this room has the traditional monopoly game as you can see a beautiful nice farm table for the dining area and nice leather chairs Very nice. and then of course the art piece is impeccable oh my god i love this it's uh it's really lovely does it have a name or is there a meaning to this so this culture is actually made by an artist called david duran and there's only 20 of these in the world it's a limited edition it weighs about 50 kgs and it's about 15,000 USDs or so. This is almost the same price as the room, you know, at $15,000, right? Yeah. My favorite piece here is the piano table. In case guests want to still work and do something, you can always connect here if you want your laptop. But also, all the rooms have some information on the property. Yeah. And we set up really nicely. It looks, so, it looks like home, you know, it doesn't That's even... the concept. Yeah. We want you to feel very comfortable, feel at home. We have a nice fireplace going and of course our TV in case you want to watch anything. We do movie nights as well. So if you want to watch maybe Gorillas in the Mist and get acquainted with the history of Volcanoes National Park and the journey of the gorillas in Rwanda, yeah. we set up a nice hot chocolate, brownies, popcorn and, co and cocoa for you here. So this is the half bath, motion sensor light here. So some couples don't like to share a toilet, so we make sure that there are two toilets in the room and everyone is comfortable. Yeah. Extra closet space here. Okay. So this is our kitchen for the Ngaji suite. Um, for every room type, we always give you all inclusive. So the bar is inclusive, the drinks are inclusive. Of course, you have your espresso machine, that's the standard for every room. The difference is just the different types of selections for the drinks. And here, because it's a super sweet, we have champagne for the guests, all inclusive, mm. and some selection of wines as well. All of these comes complimentary. Yes. Guys, let me emphasize this, guys. You have more weight, guys. Look. You have this complimentary. You don't even have one. You have about three of them away, and then you have sparkling wine. Oh shit! So if I'm not able to drink all of this, I can just take it home. I mean, <laughs> cool. <laughs> really Thanks. nice. It's pretty much. This it. is a complete house, right? It's because a complete Because you have house. Uh, you have your quarters for the for the staffs. You have the main living area. You have down. This is. You try to see that you're as comfortable as possible as you're traveling. Yeah. All right. And you have another sit out area. Okay. So, so this is if you want to have your breakfast here instead of going to the restaurant, we can again come and set up for you. And if you do like to smoke outside, all the decks are comfortable for you. We always have an ashtray. Out oh here. Yeah. This is the bedroom. Wow. It has two bathro bathrooms an outside bath. An inside bath, an indoor shower, and outdoor shower. So my so. concern with the outdoor, like okay, there's so there's really there's nobody passing. So there. all the rooms are completely uh, very private, so you don't have to worry about being on the deck and having a shower 
in your outside shower. And all you have to enjoy is the beautiful view of the eucalyptus woodland as you enjoy a nice hot tub. Yeah. So if we have maybe honeymooners, we like to fill it up with hot water yeah. and nice bath salts, rose petals, some champagne, and just enjoy yourself here and in the privacy yeah, of I the see, woodland. I see it also, the, the terrace here opens up to the terrace in the living room Absolutely, well. so it has a kitchen as well. So the terrace goes all the way to the kitchen area. So if you want to, if you want to dine here as well, it's a nice option to have some room service. We can set up a beautiful breakfast for you here yeah. or a beautiful dinner and just enjoy some privacy. So let's go into the bathroom. It's a walk-in bathroom. Automatic sensor light, gigantic mirrors, vanity, excellent vanity. The bathtub here looks like something that was made in another planet. Oh my God. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah pretty much that his and hers. We have a vanity table here. We have the hair dryer for the ladies. Um, this is personally would be my selling point, the hair dryer, because you know you need yeah. to look good on vacation. So we have that as well. And then let me take you to the outdoor shower. Okay, outdoor shower, completely. Yes. Private and safe. And yeah. yeah. Okay. And it has uh, an indoor standing shower as well. Yes, it does. So another feature about the bathrooms here is the floors are heated. The floors are heated. Just so uh, when you go in, um, maybe you're waking up at night and your bare feet, the floors are heated and you're very comfortable. So it has an indoor shower, indoor outdoor shower. shower. This is a walk-in closet. closet. We have the espresso machine here. People like to wake up early, you know, get their day started. In the rooms, we always have backpacks and hats for your trekking, like I said earlier on. So we always oh, yeah. have this placed all through in your room. How do I look, guys? I'm ready to go see some gorillas. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> And then, of course, we have some baskets here for your laundry and then the lounging kimono outfits to wear and slippers just so you're comfortable on the property if you like. What's the price point for this? The price point for this in low season is 18000 USD? Yes. And then the That's high like um, 1.8 million Rwandi francs or something like that. Something like that. And then the high season is 20000 20000 guys. Wow. I think we should leave now. <laughs> So Stephen, have a seat. I want to tell you about the Silverback Suite. Interesting. Okay. Um, so. so unfortunately, you can't see it, but I'll just tell you, just like the Engadji Suite, yeah. it has the same uh, features. The only difference is it has an infinity heated pool. It has a nice uh, wraparound outdoor shower, and then it has a bigger deck with a nice section for a private dance and bomb and fireplace pit. So what's the price point for that one, the low season and peak season? So for the peak season, the silverback is $22,000, and then for the low season, it's $20,000. The experience there is all about extreme um, comfortability, privacy, and you know you're just at home, but you're in luxury and you're enjoying your stay here with one and only. We have 21 rooms on the property. Yeah. And for the super suites, we have one high super suite and then the second highest super suite, which we saw. Yeah. One of each. So those are two. And then we have what we're in right now, the Virunga. Okay. These, we have five of these. And the rate in low season is $6,000. 6000 okay. Yes. And then for the rate in high season, is $8,400. Okay. Yep. I know you guys have like African rates. Uh, she's going to tell me that and I'm going to put it in the description of the video. So just in case you're an African, uh, you have a deal. And then if you're from Rwanda, you obviously have uh, Rwandese rates, right? Right. <laughs> okay. So this is club one, our club wellness one. section. So like I said, we have e-bikes all over the property. Mm. Station two at club Complimentary. one. Complimentary. Yes, it is complimentary. Just okay. grab one and just ride around. The concept of Club One is wellness and, you know, just being healthy. Yeah. Uh, so people like to come here to gym. They enjoy the heated swimming pool, the sauna. But also we have a nice venue here for them to dine from as Sit well. Down, yeah. uh, one other thing is once they come here, uh, we have guests who arrive with helicopter. So we receive them VIP from here. Guest. VIP guests. <laughs> All our guests are VIP. So. I mean, of course, for you to come here, you're a VIP, right? Exactly. <laughs> so once they come, we receive them from Club One, and yeah. then we take them through to their room. This is the reception for Club One. Um, we have our wellness manager, Nitesh. I'll just introduce you really quickly. Mm -hmm. So tell us about, uh, what do you call this area? The, well, club like the, one. the Club One is more uh, related to the wellness. 
so this is where you are stunning is, is reception and then we do all the like welcome procedure here towards my right side is swimming pool which famous is, swimming pool right yeah infinity so, edge heated in infinity edge pool that has maintained 29 degree temperature which is quite warm and <laughs> yeah you can see a little bit of steaming if it's like goes rain and then the chiller and it's if really it goes nice, straight yeah. uh that had a gym the gym right and there's 24 hour open okay. we allow to guests to go in and then the outside is a little bit area to do a stretch and if someone wants to do a little bit like uh, yoga, pre and post or yeah. yoga or anything maybe you can you can just uh, be around down there yeah as i was saying this is the gents changing area wow, where you get the electronically very... locker so it's completely safe you can use your password and then make sure that we got little amenities for guests to use you know you, after shower you want to just to wear perfume you want to just to refresh your uh, face and everything you got the here yeah. and then changing area and then the the wc and sar we all equipped and everything we use the product which is tda which is more african product which is naturally a natural ingredients made we all use that here yeah, very nice this is the plunge pool where the normal temperature is more like a chill pool it works as in and we provide ice if you really want to have a more ice ice can bath with you. yeah so it's more like ice bath the idea is to have a sauna a steam and then the chilled pool it's like it goes like one to another you just keep hopping this is more like treatment you know like for the skin rejuvenation wow. it's just a lot happening here we have sauna so usually we maintain 85 degree tempera temperature and uh, this is recommended and yeah. anyone in one session you can stand or sit down for 10 minutes mm. and after 10 minutes you can come and if you wish to again do another session you can take a bit of rest and you can do do again and apart from that this is steam room another steam room and yeah okay so so steam sauna and jacu jacuzzi, jacuzzi is more like that you can just hot skip, or skip ice like, however yeah, you like so it skip. <laughs> and same uh shower you got here shower room and everything it's a both side restaurant is more like we have a vegan concept vegan design so we serve vegan wine yeah and then we we do more like healthy concept and everything but during your stay guests stay they can able to dine also in lunch time if they wish to have anything yeah very nice yeah. So this is another option they have for... Yes, it's uh, for in-house guests. We usually occupy at the time of lunch and make sure that the, they, they touch base with the... Like, as you know that the different day, different venue, different menu concept, yeah. we do that here. So we, we play with that concept and we make sure that the guests one day they have lunch here. Here we have a one and only, one and spa. only spa. <laughs> So this is the, the lamp sign that the spa is open and we can walk in. Oh, so whenever this is on, it means the spa is open? Yeah, throughout the day we open and then also this has this has a kerosene in, in infused with the eucalyptus. So this this they can create a little bit of aroma in the surrounding the area. I can, I can, I can perceive it. So, yeah. Welcome to the spa. So as you can see, we got really a small cozy reception where we do the welcome and then when you ask, we ask guests to fill the consultation form and accordingly we plan. So this we have common with the washroom and wash and change area. Apart from that, the, the left side is single treatment room. I'll take you to the couple one first. Okay. So we got a nice spacious couple room where we can able to do all the treatment. This bed are all multifunctional where we can do all the uh, treatment so this is hydraulically operated we can able to adjust in terms of the if have anyone is facial anyone is body treatment anyone is having many paddies so we all do all in here okay and after the treatment we we take to guests to outside this we have relaxation area where the we do the post ritual uh, uh, program yeah and then you have a few of infinite uh, uh, like uh, eucalyptus tree and everything as you look at down also we got a swing maybe we can able to say show, show you later once we go down we have a nice swing here if someone wants to relax and then they have a nice view and chit chat yeah really nice you know
Every single information you need is in the description section, their contact number, email, website, anything you need that you can call and ask for reservation or, you know, they even have VIP package where they're going to pick you up from the airport with a chopper, man. So just in case you like to travel in lifestyle, that's also available for you. So uh, this, my friends, is one of the most, ex not one of, it is the most expensive resort right here in Africa. And I'm just so pumped to be here to, you know, bring this to you guys. So for the luxury vacationers out there, you can come here. And then for people who just love to watch beautiful things, you know, you also have this for you as well. All right. So, Stephen, if it's your first time here, we make videos about travel and real estate. I'd love you to join the family by subscribing to the channel. And uh, until the next video, which is still going to be about Rwanda, right? Uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.